Tonight, one woman remains missing after this flash flooding in Manitou Springs. Floodwaters tearing through the town, killing at least one person. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson live in Manitou Springs, where emergency crews continue to search for that missing woman. Yeah, and we spoke to crews today, and they say that they believe that the report is credible, that somebody saw that woman clinging to a tree, and the next minute they saw her washed away under a bridge. They continue their search here. They are planning to search areas, but a lot of these places are having to wait because just check out this mud. They literally have to come through here, and you can see how thick it is right now. They say it's just too wet and too soppy here to really search some of these areas, but they will continue their search starting tomorrow. Today they searched all the way to the edge of the city limit. Now in the meantime, efforts here to clean things up continue. There have been bucket brigades. There have been countless volunteers here just donating their, their time, shoveling mud and cleaning up the debris. And we wanted to know that uh, what city officials plan to do to make sure this doesn't happen again in the future. They say that they expect the same thing to happen for the next 10 years, so now we want to know what's next. Everywhere you look, there is mud, destruction, parts of people's lives. This was supposed to be my retirement. Like Donna Ford, floodwaters wiped out the bottom of her business. This just all came down, taking See, everything we've, we've she's built told, with it. My mother-in-law has flood insurance, I don't. Steep canyons combined with the Waldo burn scar have created the perfect storm, literally. It's hard for us to get heavy equipment in there to do any kind of grooving or cutting to create channels that we can channel the water and or catch debris. Not to mention the culvert was designed in 2001 before the Waldo fire, before the vegetation was burned away. We would have to have an inlet the size of the base of Williams Canyon, which is a very large culvert. I don't see that being a possibility. Manitou Springs Fire Chief Keith Buckmiller says crews have been dropping hay and seed on the area for the past year. This is video of similar drops in the High Park fire. In the meantime, they're looking at clearing out problem areas like the base of Williams Canyon. We want to get that moved out so that when the water comes down as it starts losing its inertia, it starts to drop off that next load of decomposition and then the waters then can come through just with water. And back here live, you can see that people were prepared. They still have sandbags lined out, but they say that when that water came through, it was just one more thing that was swept away in the flood waters. Now, we spoke to a city councilwoman. She says they don't have plans to take up the issue this week, but she does expect that the police chief will be making an appearance at their meeting this week, and they will be discussing what's next as they move forward and continue to dig out. Reporting live in Manitou Springs, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.